okay good evening students so today we will be discussing on a second segment or of course i'm starting up the, uh, the policies of course now from here onwards we will be discussing on we will be discussing on the different different policies how exactly those policies are uh, what is the change element in that particular policy why it is essential for us uh, or even for the state or for the union government those policies and you know, very precisely uh, today i'm talking about i'm going to talk about the aspirational district program uh, out of these set of people 10 to 12 people here how many of you know about the aspirational district program did any one of you know about this what exactly is this aspirational district program we usually call it adp kisi ko pata hai iske bare mein so what do we call it usually aspirational district program in short we call it adp sir i am not aware about it okay anyone else okay uh kisi ko purana time yaad hai aap log ko agar aap log koi bhi gaon mein gaye ho If at all you had been to any of the village, एक पहले पुरानी स्कीम चला करती थी जिसमें आदर्श ग्राम योजना कहा करते थे Had you heard of this? Congress के टाइम पे देर वॉज ए स्कीम कॉल्ड एस आदर्श ग्राम योजना दैट इज वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज इट्स अ रेप्लीकेशन ऑफ दैट बट वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग इन दिस हेयर ओके आलोक नो वरीज नो वरीज वॉट वी आर डूइंग इट हेयर इज we had formed uh, we had identified certain districts in each of the states those districts are not good enough in kind of infrastructure in kind of amenities in kind of uh, support which they really required or the people really required we put on you know, several segmentation on this we mark those things and as per those uh, markings or as per the identified segmentations uh, we are actually uh, evaluating that particular district evaluating that district and comparing it with the second district and this is what the aspirational district program is it means uh, if i give you the example if i quote you the example here in uttar pradesh there are 7 to 8 11 districts are there those who are identified i think seven districts are identified as an aspirational district program in the in this aspirational district program it means these districts are not well off as compared to other districts of the state now what government is going to do is they put on certain effort through their officials through their programs through their schemes through their funding funding models of amrodi they will fund to that particular district ask officials to work on those programs and uplift that district as compared to other district likewise we are doing this particular exercise in each of the state so uh, what we are doing is we are even comparing state to state also in this and we are comparing district to district also in this based on the first identified uh, problem statement that these districts are not well off not well off in terms of various forms in terms of health in terms of education in terms of job employment in terms of uh, production in terms of um, other uh, pointers uh, th- which are actually been given by niti ayog that is planning commission earlier it was a pl- planning commission of india now it's been called as niti ayog so niti ayog is framing out the, the particular complete segmentation of this aspirational district program and they are actually the evaluating body and the reviewing body for this program please move on to the next one as we all know uh, as we all know that during public policy or during any of the uh, program which is going to implement there are certain knowledge set which is required and there are certain skill set which is required skill set if i 
give you as a temperament you required person to be a human having a patience having an endurance to work for and have he or she should be resourceful in terms of knowledge in terms of skill and what all those knowledge is required for a person to be in public policy that is he or she should be good into research work having good he or she should have a good uh, idea about uh, developing a critical analysis they can persuade some other peoples also they should know about the international affairs uh, there should be some uh, logical reasoning towards the economical econo economical reasoning and about the economics they should know about the development and institutions and the stakeholders of this uh, uh, area that is development and institutions and that is why on that particular day uh, hiralal sir was asking that you guys are not knowing about this because a person who is into the public policy they should know about the institutes too across uh, india and across globe they should know about the uh, various forms of and various types of institutions then comes uh, whatever the politics is around in the state or around the globe or even the union territory they should know about that they should know very well about the policies they should know about the a relation between the nation to state state to state nation to nation and of course the governance model of that and lastly but very much essential they should know about the society in which they are living in they should know about the traditions of that particular area that particular state that particular town city or village and well versed or at least minimum they should go and think and read for the constitution of india because uh, the complete process of law making or the complete process of uh, giving a justice to the people is totally depends upon the constitution whatever is been written in the constitution um, every individual every government every uh, either the state or the ut or the official they all are bound to actually uh, go with the constitution and thus uh, one the person who is into the public policy he or she should know about the constitution and based on these all things one should go for research area 2 so research is also required to be actually done under this and for all this it's not only for this for all this please move on to the next one okay so if you see uh, if you see really uh, what district compromise of if you see this district a district is having a system or a ecosystem where we are providing education to the people a basic infrastructure that small banks post office and all things are there in a district usually people are working towards the agriculture i am on mute is i am no sir i am not on no, mute no sir you are audible i am bit of course audible to all who else is actually not able to hear me sir are you on manjista i am not on mute of course are you able to hear me manjista okay so this in a district education is given imparted to uh, either the primary education or the uh, secondary education or even the graduation up to post graduation levels of there are certain colleges in a district likewise basic infrastructure i talk about this financial inclusions various financial institutions will be there banks will be there uh, other uh, officers which are actually looking towards making people to get certain support on the finances those organizations will be there 
in a district skill development because we required people to uh, upskill their uh, knowledge for them so that they can attain uh, job security at least the minimum job security for that and over and above this we required a healthcare and a public healthcare system to support the people those who are actually staying there to support all of this we required we required a primary health care center a minimum basic requirement is we required a psc with this actually uh, the ecosystem of uh, district compromises or gets completed according to this particular ecosystem there will be different different stakeholders please move on to the next okay if if you really would like to go and uh, see the dashboard of aspirational district programs uh, there are certain certain forms of segmentation been given and as per those segmentation these districts are actually coming for a uh, uh, coming under the aspirational district program and comparing or of course fighting among themselves but the maximum weightage is been given for health and nutrition of that district how many health and nutrition programs are there what is the funding model for that particular health and nutrition in this particular district what is the what is the outcome and output of those districts uh, if these programs are running around uh, in these villages or the districts so this comprises of 30% of weightage and data point is also 31 now for this the education is the second in this and it also comprises of 30% of the complete uh, marking which we are actually doing then comes because we are talking about the district and in, we all know that our country is an agrarian we all uh, depends upon the agriculture more and more still around 55 to 60% of people or 55% of uh, 55 of course 60% of production is connected to this agriculture or indirectly connected to the agriculture even the businesses and business houses too and based on this agriculture and water resources present in a state uh, we will actually compare these states and we compare these districts and the marking or the weightage given for this particular agriculture and water resources is 20% then comes the financial inclusions why we are talking about the financial inclusions can anyone tell me why a district why we are talking about the financial inclusion again and again whenever we talk about uh, development of any district or development of any village why it is so so because we also want that uh, these people who uh, should contribute in the overall growth of gdp okay and sir i have a question yeah please sir if health and nutrition is having 30% of weightage then mm -hmm. how they have gained 31 points ha huh, 31 points of out of total see percentage is this 31 can be 31 can be uh, a different set of data point okay there are 31 indicators into this you got it data point means there are 31 indicators for this for total 100 30 percentage of this there are 31 indicators actually you got it even in the health and nutrition also it's not only that uh, i i can show you wait i will show you why this one is 31 i will open this that particular link and show you why it is 31 31 in the sense of see if i talk about the health and nutrition uh, carry on uh, adding whatever i am saying firstly how many pscs are there how many bed uh, uh, beds are there in that particular PSC? How many doctors are there? What is the vaccination program of that? How many pulse polio program we have provided? What is the program for uh, maternity? 
what is the program for child betterment what is the program for nutrition what is the program for malnutrition likewise there are 31 data points for health and nutrition got it alok you got it yes sir yes sir i got it thank you so there are 31 points in this which we are taking into consideration but for education we are taking only 14 points agriculture we are taking count of 12 points for financial inclusion we are taking account of 6 points 6 points can be number of banks number of employees in in the bank what number of uh, uh, value of uh, uh, loans been given to the farmers what value of uh, uh, or what is the worth of those equipments been purchased through the banks uh, what is that financial institutions are there in that and how much uh, financial awareness programs are been run by that particular bank so that comprises six points of financial inclusion i'm just giving you the example we will open this also so that you will get a more clarity into this okay likewise for skill development 5% of course a weightage is given and there are 10 indicators for uh, skill development then comes lastly of course the basic infrastructure where we are talking about the roads electricity uh, power houses um, um, uh, the temples uh and likewise so many um uh, of course cinema halls also are coming under this in a district okay because it's coming as the entertainment or the sports facility or the school building so likewise there are eight data points for this and we are giving a 10% weightage to that particular pointers please move on to the next one we will open this in the last okay what is this uh, institutional arrangement for this the aspirational district program is a product of collective effort in which states are the main drivers means states are the main driver it means what i look what is the meaning of this states are the main drivers sir please repeat you are not perfectly audible if i am saying for a aspirational district program collective effort in which states are the main drivers what it exactly means so states are the main driver basically uh, uh, i think it is talking about the uh, state government and all the governmental institutions that's what all the departments of the state state means um, whoever is there uh, overall the ips or dm mm -hmm. that is department of that particular state is completely actually accountable for this okay at government of india level program is anchored by niti ayog niti ayog is what they are giving is they are hand holding this particular program but at the ground level the states are actually the main drivers so in case of any of the problem or any of the uh, of course contingency or in case uh, any of the solution which is to be done that is to be done by state dm office only it's not that you will be asking to the niti ayog for doing this for making a well in your village you will not go and ask to niti ayog to do that you will go and ask state to do it niti ayog will actually monitor it or hand hold it okay then comes in addition individual ministries have assumed responsibility to drive progress of districts it means there are not uh, one ministry there is no such one ministry which is working for this if i take the case of irrigation itself rural development ministry will be working water resources ministry will be working uh, agriculture minister will be working so likewise for each of the program each of the facility which is been given or given to the people or given to the villagers multiple number of ministries and departments are working under this what they did is in each of the district there is a central prabhari officer of the rank of additional secretary or joint secretary that is been nominated so the person having a rank of additional uh, secretary or joint secretary he will be nominated and called as a central prabhari officer for aspirational district program so each and everything coming under the state they will report to this central prabhari officer 
An empowered committee under the convenership of CEO Niti Aayog has been noticed or notified to ensure conversion in schemes and address species brought out of Prabhari officers. At ground level, whatever the things are coming in uh, as a problem to the people, they are reporting it to their officers and the DMs. DM is actually reporting it to the Prabhari officer. And Prabhari officer is actually reporting it to the Niti Aayog CEO. And CEO of Niti Aayog will also notice that how the convergence of all the schemes, all the policies uh, at the ground level is being done. Are they really addressing to, to those people's uh, uh, requirement or not? Likewise, states have requested to form a committee and the chief secretary, chief secretary to implement the program. But what state did actually is state has asked that chief secretary also to be the committee member or to head this particular committee. States have also nominated nominal officers and also state level Prabhari officers. So there are there are on the top Niti Aayog, then the Prabhari officers. They ask for a chief secretary to be in the program, and they ask states have also nominated nodal officers to work on. So this is the ecosystem or the organization chart of aspirational district program. Top is Niti Aayog, then of course uh, state uh, Prabhari officer. There uh, chief secretary can also be the uh, in the program, or of course, at least a joint secretary will be there who will be monitoring all these things. And under the uh, uh, this, uh, what you call Prabhari officer, there will be nodal officers working around. Please move on to the next. What is the core strategy of this program? Core strategy is, of course, we have discussed on this that states are the main drivers work on the strength of each district this means suppose uh, in a district there is something good or there is something which because of which people can become or their life can be become can become more comfortable or they can earn more money out of that uh, if i give you the example if suppose uh, I take the case of Lucknow itself. Lucknow city is good or Lucknow district is good in chicken. Chicken ka kaam hota hai pe, of course. So why not to use this particular art? Why not to leverage this particular art and make a program so that people, more and more people can learn on that particular art and of course create a mass movement so that we can actually sell off that particular product. It means what we are doing is we are trying to strengthen the district as per the district strength. We are not forcing that district to work something differently. Whatever is there in their hand or whatever the things they are good into, just work on that particular strength so that that can be leveraged or that can be encashed for income generation programs. Make development as a mass movement in these districts. It means ask more and more people, more and more stakeholders to come in and join for that particular program. Identify low hanging fruits and strengthen of each district to act as a catalyst for development while evaluating whatever the bad in this, whatever is not actually fruitful, um, or on what all the occasions or the options where we are actually lagging behind. We need to identify it, strengthen on those things, and ask each of the district to actually work as a catalyst. It means ask other district to support that particular district to upgrade themselves. Measure progress and bank district to spur a sense of competition. Here, I have given you the uh, basic idea that we are asking all the districts to come in. We are upgrading them as per their development, as per their progress. And this actually, create this is creating a sense of competition among the districts, like sense of competition among the individuals. This is a creating a sense of competition among the districts. Now, what will happen is each district and each official, that is Prabhari officer, 
joint secretary additional secretary a nodal officer each person or each official will be working towards making their district to be coming on top and this gives a better result and by which district shall aspire to become state's best district or a national national best district and even this districts and the officials of these districts and the people or the stakeholders ecosystem that's recognized by government of india also and state too please move on to the next indicators see if i am saying that we need we are going to identify we are going to identify what uh, this uh, what you call uh, districts and there are the pointers so pointers in the sense of indicators indicators what we are doing is we are allocating a key performance indicators to each of the those segments that is education healthcare and nutrition skill development financial inclusion and likewise we are giving a kpi to each of those things and each of the focus area important indicator that show progress have been identified asserting the current status in a district and aspiring to catch up with the best district in the state with this if we are having an indicators in our hand and if we compare one district to another district and then we can identify the gap between the districts what all those pointers or what all those performance indicators where we lag actually as a district if one district is lagging behind they can see to the other district programs or other districts of course uh, marking on that and compare themselves and then can they can enhance their district and likewise that is why this has been called as aspirational district program it means a district which is good into um, any of the program or good in any of the indicator that particular district will actually aspire to all those other districts those who are not good in, either in health care or the education or the skill development or the financial inclusion or the irrigation or the uh, uh, agriculture and and number of other indicators are of course there so likewise districts are comparing themselves and trying to enhance their performance on that they can even take the steps to improve the performance and complete with other districts now uh, please move on to the next one this is a basic a broad indicators also been given health and nutrition they have given 13 education they have given 8 agriculture and water resources indicators 10 financial inclusions they have given 6 skill development they have given 5 basic infrastructure they have given 7 so these are the main of course indicators coming out of this can we go with this okay uh please move on to the next this we will open later on this is a pla that is participatory learning action plan whenever we go for a research in any of the village area this is a structure which we need to follow actually i will come to this but before this uh could you please go, move on to that particular link i think it's been given on the second second or third top one top one go to the top this link open it can you see it here switch as this and this thing so uh please open this analytics for this this one oh this is go back
go to explore or open any of the thing open this health and nutrition at least see all these people come down scroll it to down see go up see there is a change if you see this is the bottom 10 districts since inception that is odisha one district bijapur in the uh, chatisgarh district वैसार आंध्र प्रदेश डिस्ट्रिक्ट झारखंड वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो दीज ऑल आर इन द बॉटम लाइन दिस आर और आर टॉप डिस्ट्रिक्ट दैट इज रांची झारखंड सुकमा छत्तीसगढ़ बलरामपुर उत्तर प्रदेश सिद्धार्थनगर उत्तर प्रदेश चंदौली उत्तर प्रदेश चंदौल मणिपुर सो प्लीज गो बैक So these are the top states. These are the are... top states. Ha, huh? these were the top states. Uh, go to champions of open this. Uh, go to as uh, click 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 switch to classic. Likewise, open this agriculture and water. Delta R. Indic. Open this indicator. This one. This this. No, click this one. Indicator. You on the top right corner. On the top right side. indicators if you see indi oh, just widen it large um, see what is what all those indicators in agriculture if i can read it here percentage of area under irrigation micro irrigation so, micro irrigation number of soil health cards issued okay number of minerals in the district Link to electronic market. It means e-market of the government. Percentage of animals vaccinated. Artificial artificial insemination coverage being done in district. Percentage of gram panchayat with internet connection. Percentage of habitators with access to all weather all weather uh, roads. Under PM GSY, cumulative number of kilometers of all weather road work completed, or a percentage of total work. Okay, like as percentage of rural habitators with access to adequate quality of potable water, percentage of coverage of establishments of common service center of gram panchayat level. so these all are coming under the indicators of agriculture itself got it likewise they are doing they are they have given a indicator to each and every segment please uh, go to this delta ranking see delta ranking top top 5 districts based on rank that is koraput namsai nevada khipri baksara bottom districts chatarpur chandoli mewat sonbhadra fatehpur this is for this is for which segment i think or all districts are on monthly delta ranking okay on the monthly basis how they are actually behaving or what is their uh, 
work what they are doing district performance open this district performance so this we got it so you got the idea what exactly they are doing actually and you can even compare it from uh, if you go to 2021 you will get something else please uh, just scroll it see the names or uh, the districts get changed here it is balrampur top 10 district now again go to 22 it means balrampur remains the same uh, 2018 22 since inception of course okay got it so certain districts are still actually um, actually are uh, good into work and that is why they are still there so and there are certain improvements and certain the see if the green this thing they are improving but they are actually going down this red mark and this is this one is visaka andhra pradesh district of some district is there i i can't read the name of that particular district on to this but they are going down they were having good of course in this there was a but been lagging behind so they are comparing it with their previous ranking to their new ranking with the one district to other district and that is why this has been called as an aspirational district program so you got it uh, how we are actually calculating okay go to theme wise since inception theme wise uh, sir sir i would out sir in this sir uh, uh, new states are also added no right. what they did is actually they are identifying certain all the states and out of those states they are identifying the district first okay there are limited okay, number sir. of districts okay. i think uh, some 131 districts are there which are coming under this okay what they are, what is the idea behind doing this is there are certain districts those who are not good actually or the facility in those districts are not good if you see each and every, uh, okay time wise i can i can show you one thing delta ranking indicator uh, sir it is called aspirational because we are comparing with different uh, that is ha huh, yeah 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 one district is aspiring other district to actually work on that is why it is called an aspirational district program okay please go to the home sir what is the reason for constant failure of jharkhand because i am seeing a majority of the district jharkhand are backward see uh, if you see the geographical uh, position of the jharkhand okay people are not literate they didn't move out of uh, their city or the town areas still so many tribal area is there which is not connected to uh, or which is not highly connected to various of the uh, like other states or other cities and that is why jharkhand is lagging behind but if you see or if you compare with um, the newly formed districts okay it's coming up but it will take time the people in around jharkhand they were the tribes they were not they were not connected to the the commoners of course since last you can say since inception since the state has been formed so it will take certain time to actually uh, match up with other cities and other states and that is why just go to uh, uh, these projects click on the project no not this this is not required go to home uh scroll it down analytics we have done financial inclusion we have done okay uh open this citizen feedback let us see what is there it's good that we are actually okay they are asking from us what we can give okay just scroll it on the right what all other alternatives are there experimental tools block level application open this
sir it is logged so okay, i okay got it got it no worries okay so uh, likewise states and union government is actually preparing now you can log uh, close this particular window and we can start our that session so likewise you got the idea that how aspirational district is working or any of the questions from you guys please let me know if you have any of the query in regard to this no yes. worries it means you guys know yeah do you, have, do, you, do you have any questions no sir sir i said no okay okay now okay ab ek teach ek exercise आप लोग पहले ये बताइए कभी आप लोग ने गांव गए हैं कभी आप लोग कितने लोग गांव गए हैं रेज योर हैंड इफ आई कैन सी ऑन द बोर्ड हाउ मेनी पीपल वेब ओके टू थ्री ओके आउट ऑफ फोर हाउ मेनी आर देयर सेवनटीन आउट ऑफ सेवनटीन सारे लोग गांव गए हैं ओके चलिए अब यू कैन रेज योर लोअर योर हैंड नो वरीज कभी गांव में जाके लोगों से बात किया आपने कि गांव कैसे काम कर रहा है या आपका गांव कैसे काम कर रहा है एनी एक्सपीरियंस ऑन दिस तो मोस्टली जो क्वेश्चन वी आस्क इज अबाउट द एग्रीकल्चर हाउ द एग्रीकल्चर इज गोइंग ऑन सो मतलब क्रॉप की ग्रोथ क्या है क्या नहीं है व्हाट द रेट गोइंग ऑन आर दे रियली वेल वेल अवेयर अबाउट दिस क्या उनको सब पता है इसके बारे में डेवलपमेंट हो पाएगा Farms yes. and farm land area. Sir, they, sir, they also didn't know many of the policies of the government which is carried for their own benefit. Ha, huh. they are talking more about their own benefit. That is one good thing, of course. Each and every person is looking around. कि मेरे को क्या मिल जाएगा, ठीक है? This is what exactly. Of course, it is good for the people. At least, कुछ तो aware awareness रहेगी. okay this pla exercise that is participatory learning action this we usually do or we did whenever we start or try to identify the problem area in any of the village lekin agar aap village mein jayenge aur jaise yahi pe 17 logo mein out of 17 four are only familiar or if you include me i am also not well versed with the village area of course i keep on um, uh, going to my ancestral house that is in unnod district itself we i keep on going but still uh, we didn't mingle up these people or we are not so much familiar with these people so kya kya problem aa sakti hai whenever we are going and trying or going to say that actually we came here just to help you or support you aapki taraf ko aapko kya lagta hai kya kya arjane aa sakti hai So we are not able to explain the things, uh, or they are not able to understand. Sir, a conversation, uh, so conversation may problem as such. Okay. Any other thing? Because sir, they use that uh, particularly their local language. Language will be the barrier, or the communication, or the uh, conventional. टॉक शायद ना हो सके क्योंकि वी आर फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर बैकग्राउंड दे आर फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर बैकग्राउंड तो कन्वेंशनल बातचीत ना हो सके तो कैसे करेंगे हम देखिए कैसे करेंगे द मोमेंट यू इंटर द विलेज इट विल नॉट स्टार्ट ऑन द स्पॉट यू नीड टू ऑब्जर्व सो एज सुन एज यू आर एंट्रिंग टू एनी ऑफ द विलेज अवर एक्शन विल स्टार्ट एज सुन एज वी आर एंट्रिंग our action will start first we will observe observe and then start sizing up the village conditions socio economic parameters and attitude of the people kya karenge pehle aap logon ko observe karenge 
वॉट एवर द विलेज कंडीशन है उसी को पहले आप नोट डाउन करेंगे वहाँ का सोशियो इकोनॉमिक पैरामीटर क्या है कितने लोग आपको लग रहे हैं कि पैसे वाले हैं या वहाँ के घर का स्ट्रक्चर क्या है सभी लोग कच्चे मकान में रह रहे हैं या पक्के मकान में रह रहे हैं उन लोग का यूजली एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स यू टूवर्ड्स द अनफेमिलियर फेस क्या है ट्राई टू रिकोगनाइज इट देन स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग योर ओन डायनेमिक अप्रोचेस अपने अपने तरीके से उन लोगों को अप्रोच करने की कोशिश करनी है सबका अपना एक स्किल सेट है इफ आई आस्क खुशी सी विल अप्रोच इन डिफरेंट वे इफ आई आस्क आलोक सी विल अप्रोच इन डिफरेंट वे इफ आई आस्क श्रिया श्रिया विल अप्रोच इन डिफरेंट वे लाइक वाइज खुशी श्रीवास्तव आद्या और मंजिस्ता सबको मैं बोलूंगा यू गाइज विल अप्रोच इन डिफरेंट वे एंड दैट इज द वन बेस्ट वे एक्चुअली यूज योर ओन डायनेमिक्स You use your own skill to actually mingle up with these people. Of course, this exercise, if you compare it, if we go to any of the, uh, if we are going to outskirts, or if you if we go usually in out stations by train, usually whenever we are boarding up the train, uh, the differences will be there. As soon as the journey starts in, सब लोग दोस्त हो जाते हैं. We keep on actually sharing our experiences. our journeys and all our stories our family members even we keep on sharing india is such that people start uh, sharing their food also but it takes time in a journey of a train it takes time likewise in a journey of a discussion this will take time this exercise need to continue throughout your stay there but your approach your thought of uh, your way of approaching your way of of course mingling up with these people your observation point whatever the things are coming up from their end you need to observe and write it down this exercise need to continue throughout your stay whenever you are there either for one day two day or a month so this you need to remember then what can be the approach the approach will be slow and steady wins the race we all know uh, this is of course a very long understanding that whenever we are we are not uh, running for any of the thing and we go with a steady pace think for evaluate and then actually act that is the one best way do not make the villagers apprehensions in the first approach itself don't counter them don't counter them whatever the statements are coming from their end just uh, consume it observe it think why it is coming up and don't make these villagers to be apprehensive towards you because if they become apprehensive towards you then they will not reveal what we are going to actually ask from them so the approach should be very much smoother very much slow but uh, don't actually counter them then comes a breakthrough there will be a breakthrough point where you will gain the confidence of those people at least some of the people uh, some of the ladies some of the children some of the gents they will mingle up with you they will actually you will gain the confidence you will walk through them you will speak to them they will come on with certain options certain ideas certain stories and uh, certain stories of that particular village certain there are background stories of any of the activity in the village you will come to know but it will take time so after you have won their confidence just walk through the village randomly keep on going to that particular village every every uh, weekly once then uh, increase your time trip, that is twice in a week then thrice in a week like this Uh, at least spend one hour or two hour per day during the PLA exercise. This will create a cohesion actually among you and the people those who are residing in the villages. Then start using the methodology of your work for your work by establishing contact with different sections of the population. Once you are going there, I inform you that you need to observe the people. Observe the people in the sense that there are certain different communities. a different set of population is staying there certain set of uh, teachers will be there certain set of agriculture will be there certain set of, set of uh, business people will be there 
certain set of students will be there certain set of females will be there so try to establish this contact with different different set of people different different set of communities communities i mean to say if i am talking about the women women if i am talking about the men it includes all of the men teachers uh, the uh, pradhan the uh, school students the other, other uh, influencers those who are there if suppose some ngo is working uh, go and sit with those ngos too visit to household visit to schools visit to temples visit to mosques visit to tea stalls visit to shops anganwadi center phc center cooperative panchayat office field and likewise why you are visiting these areas because once you visit these areas you will get to know or you will make a contact with different set of population which is residing in a village and they are your actually uh, uh, asset once you are doing this pla this need to be complemented by interaction with key people it means suppose uh, i am going to school i need to interact with headmaster or headmistress for sure if i am going to temple and mosque i need to uh, speak to the uh, head of temple or the mosque if i am going to a tea stall the person who is the head or who is making a tea we need to speak to both of them shop owners we need to speak for anganwadi centers and anganwadi workers we need to speak for likewise psc centers doctors are there nurses are there compounders are there cooperative banks are there managers are there clerks are there panchayat if you go pradhan will be there council member will be there uh, post office will be there postman and post head will be there uh, head head post office will be there mingle with these people speak to these people they will come out with key of course pointers out of this uh, will be coming in from these key people for that particular village stimulate the villagers participation participation for your cause by making them get together either in small group or village area for pla exercise now the people are in confidence with you now you know certain set of people now you know the heads of those organizations which are uh, which are very much beneficial for you now plan one of the activity there ask all of them to actually gather in one place or in subsets in days and try to uh, exercise this pla encourage and energize please uh, scroll it down no no the top one only but the last point or uh, this raise the villagers interest by referring to their own issues ask about their issues discuss about their issues discuss uh, that uh, interaction should be one to one and it should be very much interactive that all to speak about that problem area all to speak about the issues all to speak about the interest of themselves make them feel free to put in put in their put their bit right from rains to the floods to the waffle schools anything anything to the debtors marriage to the bank officials whatever the problem area is there let them speak make all people to come up discuss about this because when whatever they will be speaking on you will be observing and you will be actually writing it in your notepad because that particular exercise size will give you the problem statement of that particular village now move on to the next one uh if you can enlarge this okay i can i can what you need to do is identify suggest formulate once they will they will give you certain problem areas they will actually share some issues with you make the villagers to come up with their challenges and issues wo apne aapko challenges and issues batayenge identify and become vocal on them it means you need to use 
their art of actually uh, uh, language or the way they can actually understand it use that particular language identify how localization can be done to help on to create a, a help for those people here vocal means very much connected to those people then invite suggestions and responses from the victims as well as other participants whoever as they are ask the suggestions from them ask the responses from the victims as well as other participants if multiple solutions emerge help the participation participants to zero in most amicable acceptable and pragmatic solution that is what we need to actually narrow down the solutions what is more empirical to them what is most acceptable to them and what is least actually uh, or cost effective to these people if i talk about the agriculture issue also the solution should be cost effective to them then you can actually put forth a formidable action plan without imposing on them once you get the problem set once you get the acceptable solution then you can say this is the method we are going to do and they will actually uh, go with you prepare an action plan that might be an outcome of your own pla findings this need to be realistic and practical whenever you do this that should be a realistic one and that should be a practical win here i mean to say realistic means that should be well well of course uh, on ground reality that solution shall be there should be there practical of course that we can do it we cannot think of any of the solution which is not at all practical or which is uh, uh, which is not measurable or we don't give any of the solution which you you yourself can actually not agreeing on that or which you yourself cannot do at least because then they will ask okay humse nahi ho raha aap karke dikha dijiye pehle so you need to think for that that whatever the things or whatever the solution which i am going to propose them i myself shall be in position to actually handle it in position to do it and that is why it should be practical it should be very much realistic koi jadu ki jadu wali cheez nahi dikhni chahiye there is no such uh, any single solution which is coming out of this that should not be any of the rocket science for that to those people act as a facilitator you need to only put before the people the selected action plan which can be implemented in the village community to large extent वही चीज बतानी है जो सबसे ज्यादा लोगों को जो लोगों ने एक्सेप्ट किया हो ऐसी कोई भी चीज नहीं बतानी है जो लोगों ने एक्सेप्ट नहीं की हो एंड देन गो फॉर द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द एक्शन प्लान कैन बी लेफ्ट टू डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सॉल्यूशन लिखिए वो सॉल्यूशन डीएम ऑफिस में सबमिट करवाइए और डीएम ऑफिस में जब आप सबमिट करवाएंगे तो उसको प्रधान से उस गाँव के प्रधान से और उस गाँव में एस सी कमेटी है उस गांव में खुल एक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कमेटी गांव की भी काम कर रही होती है उन सब से भी साइन लेके उसको वहां सबमिट करा दीजिए एंड देन डीएम विल एक्चुअली ट्राई टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट विद अ प्रॉपर अप्रेजल दिस इज व्हाट वी कीप ऑन डूइंग वन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्चुअली आइडेंटिफाई और डू ए नीड असेसमेंट फॉर एनी ऑफ द विलेज आई थिंक विद दिस वी आर गोइंग टू एंड और मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट okay thanks this with this we are actually uh, thank you uh, khushi you can actually stop your video here and now i request all if you are having a, any of the queries any of the sessions do ask me and of course switch on your video so that we can have a pick also those who are comfortable they can switch on their videos any questions no questions no sir good that i keep on saying or I'll keep on actually uh, giving a lecture for one and a half hour and you guys are not coming with any of the queries it's good okay you are not comfortable to switch on videos kushi is there 
good good at least team leader should switch on the videos that should how the things are okay any problems problem for doing research alok you are doing good alok are you there he is not here he is doing good actually in research and other four four of you achut was there manchita was there kushi was there you guys are doing good thing actually once you are going and approaching to those schools and colleges keep on doing and keep on informing me also and kushi also whatever you guys are doing keep on taking the pics okay thanks thanks for the day i am going to just end up and uh, whatever the questions or the queries please post it on the whatsapp group thank you so i want to so yeah yeah please please everybody wait for a, a second like you have to submit your weekly reports to me right now because i have to compile it and i will send it after 5 o'clock after 6 o'clock no uh, reports will be accepted and for the attendance jo 4:30 se pehle aaye the meeting mein un sab ki attendance lag gayi hai and kyunki uh, deadline 5 o'clock ki thi so uske baad agar kisi ki bhi absent lagi hai aur uske baad agar kisi ne meeting join kiya to uska absent hi laga hai so don't text me that mera absent hai because i texted in the group ki 4:30 se pehle please join the meeting thank try you to, try to adhere uh, these timelines what uh, team leader is giving to you and the of course work which has been assigned by her either manchita or khushi excuse me khushi so yeah, yeah. Uh, so i have doubt uh, khushi as you have said that uh, we have to compile all the week uh, week report uh, in the spreadsheet but earlier we have done in the word file then what to do 